all right now we'll make some changes in our desktop flow development what are the changes every day that we need to extract the data from the national stock exchange based on the categories and then we are going to store inside our folder which we have created that is nsa but every day we need to extract and then we need to save the files in the particular folder what if i want to create a new folder based on the date basis how can i go ahead and create a folder based on the date basis let me go back to the power out my desktop now to get the current date of the particular system i am going to use get current date and time action let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace what this get current date and time action will do this will retrieve the current date and time or current time based on the system zone okay now if you see the parameters over here i am having first parameter as retrieve now it will try to get current date and time but i'm going to select the option only to get current date only and then i'm going to select the second parameter that is time zone i'm having different parameters over here as system time zone and specific time zone system time zone means the specific time zone which your system having it specific time zone based on your requirement you can go ahead and you can do that now i'm going to select system time zone and then the output whatever the output we are going to get it from the get current date and time i'm going to store inside the variable that is current date and time i'm going to make it as get current date and time and then i'm going to click on save now whatever the output we got it from the get current date and time action that will be stored inside my get current date and time variable now i need to convert this variable into string format or text format how can i convert the date and time format to text format there is one action called convert date time to text action which converts the current date and time whatever we have retrieved it will convert into the text or string format which we are going to give it let me drag and drop this action that is convert date time to text action onto the workspace after get current date and time now if you see the parameters of this action the first one is that which date to convert so right now the current date and time we have saved in the flow variable that is get current date and time i'm going to select the same variable by selecting the variable option and then i'm going to select get current date and time i'm going to select that and then if you see the format to use it i'm having different format that is standard another one is the custom so i'm going to provide the format to use as custom i will give my own custom format over here for the date and time now once you have selected custom i need to give the custom format what is the format that you want to give it that i'm going to give it as mmm dd hyphen yyy so it will comes in a such a way if you see the sample over here it will comes as triple m means it's a may and then dd means it's a 19 that is a date and 2020 is the year which we have given now the value will be stored in string format that is formatted date time so i'm going to make it as converted date time is the flow variable that i'm going to use it as produced variable all right let me click on save now each and every day that i'm going to extract the data from the national stock exchange and then i'm going to store inside the folder that is nsc for each and every day i'm going to create a folder over here in a such a way if you see right now current date is 20 is the day and month is october and 2022 is the year right i want to create a new folder over here in the particular folder how can i go ahead and create a new folder with the formatted date or with the converted date i'm going to use create folder is the action where i need to create a new folder for each and every day let me drag and drop this create folder action onto the workspace after set variable that is doc path because of inside the doc path i'm going to create a new folder so that's the reason i'm going to drag and drop this create folder after set variable with the doc path now if you see the parameters for the create folder where it will create a new folder in the given path first parameter is that create new folder into into means what is the path that i need to select to create a new folder in our doc path we are having 
NSC with the local folder, right? So I'm going to select the same variable over here that is doc path. And then what is the folder name? Every time I need to create a new folder with the converted date time so that the folder name should be like the DDMM YYY format, which we have that has to be created inside the particular document path so that I'm going to select the new folder name as converted date time format so that I'm going to select the variable as converted date time. Let me select the variable that is converted date time and the output will be stored inside the new folder where we can use this variable for the future reference. I'm going to give the name as new date folder and then I'm going to click on save. Now we have created a new folder by using the action create folder. Now it will go through the loop of the particular for each action and then it will save the excels by extracting the data from the web page. Now if you observe in our sessions we have used save excel where dog path slash current category item it has been given but I have created a new folder with the converted date time right so there the new folder will be comes as the path as new date folder I need to give that name over here or I can give the dog path slash converted date time will be over there now I'm going to double click on the save excel and then if you observe the dog path I have given dog path slash the current category item right now what I'm going to do I'm going to give doc path slash converted date time also I'm going to give it let me select the variable over here and then I'm going to give converted date time again I'm going to give slash over here now if you see the doc path will come in a such a way see users slash year slash documents slash NSC and the converted date time what are the converted date time slash and the whatever the file that we have it will be creating inside the folder all right let me click on save now our changes are ready without exceptions but we can see how the folder will be getting created inside my path that is doc path i'm going to give breakpoint over here in a such a way wait for web page content and after before that it will create a new folder and then it will start loading the data or writing the data into the excel in the qn path all right let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started now if you see as a first step it is trying to get the current date time and then it has been converted into the string format or the text format by using convert date time to text format and then it will launch the website that is nsindia.com slash market data slash live equity market now if you observe by using create folder it has created a new folder with the current date and time with the string format there you can see october 20 2022 is the system date where i am running this flow that's the reason it has been created a new folder over here now every day what it will do it will create a new folder and inside that it will go through the uh, entire desktop flow and it will save the excel by extracting the data and then it will save inside the folder of the excel and then from there we can go ahead and we can analyze the data for our future purpose.